We are grilling today. I am going to be making dry rubbed bison smoked ribeye with a blackberry soy balsamic sauce, grilled broccoli rabe, and grilled mushrooms. Ooh. I'd order it. You'd order it? Okay. <laughs> Smoking, it can really go south very quickly because there is a lot of flavor in smoke. If you over smoke things, it's like whew, too much. So I have this guy, it has aluminum foil in the bottom. I have some wood chips here. These are hickory chips. We soak these in water so that they won't burn. And also I have some Earl Grey tea. Let's put a, an aluminum foil on this so it keeps all the smoke inside the smoker. Bison, it tastes a lot like beef, but it's naturally very, very, very lean. If you cook them too much, it will just dry out and it loses so, so much. Let's look at my ribeyes. So we have a bone in there. The best parts of those steaks are where the bone is, like the juiciest, it's got the most flavor. So I'm gonna do a little dry rub. I have a bunch of salt pepper. And then I have some garlic powder. So I'm getting my steaks ready to go in my smoker. I'm letting these come to room temperature and we're going to start to pull out all those meat juices so they'll caramelize on the outside of our steak. I'm just going to give my hands a quick little wash. Now I am going to grill some broccoli rob. It's got these like really stiff woody stems. I'm gonna cut off a lot of those. I kind of love this technique so much. We're gonna take this and we're just gonna soak it in water. Let's think about grilling some mushroom. These are shiitake mushrooms. And then we have cremini mushrooms. So I'm popping the stems out of these. So when we do this, we just kind of go around the stem and kind of loosen it and pull it out and see like that the stump is in there. So, whoa, that's smoky. I'm just gonna turn this burner off right now and I'm gonna let those hang out in there. So I'm gonna set a timer for about five minutes. All right, so let's think sauce. I'm just gonna start off with half a red onion. So I'm going to dice it. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of oil. Okay, so I'm getting my onions in there and I'm going to start to sweat them. Now, I'm gonna add some ginger to this. Ooh. We're just gonna scrape the skin off the ginger. This time. So, let's just take a little look-see here. I'm just gonna leave those, let those hang out in there. Now, I'm going to grate my ginger and then I'm going to get my ginger right in with my onions. They're a similar texture. You get a nice little waft of ginger happening. Mmm, right? Now, I have balsamic vinegar. I have soy sauce. I have some blackberry jam. I'm gonna add some blackberries in there, but then I'm gonna save a lot of them till right at the end so I can stir them into the sauce. I'm just going to let this come up to temperature, get a nice little boil on it and start to cook down a little bit. Then I have this stuff and this is called veal demi-glace. It's like meat jelly. This is going to be the bulk of my sauce. This tastes meaty, I've got meat going on here and then I'm just adding all of the other flair. All right, so I'm gonna take my steak out of here. I just put a few drops of oil on there. I'm brushing it around. All right. There we go, we lay it on there. So let's get my mushrooms on the grill as well. So I'm giving these a nice little drink of oil. I'm gonna give them some salt and I'm gonna toss them around. I'm also gonna give them a little tiny pinch of crushed red pepper. I'm gonna lay these with the top side down. Look at that. Mm. These bison ribeyes are really lean. They're gonna cook really fast. My mushrooms. Look at this guy already, it's like really starting to be cooked. This guy, look, we've got nice brown food down here. I'm gonna take them off. Remember what we do with protein? We let them rest. Like, all right, you take a break. I've cooked you, you've worked hard. Now you take a break. Now I'm gonna take my broccoli rabe and I'm gonna put it right where that bison ribeye has been. Starts to absorb some of that delicious meat juice. 
The reason water is here, it evaporates and it kind of steams my broccoli rob at the same time, so we get a much more even cook on it. Giving it a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to oil them, and I'm gonna give a tiny pinch of crushed red pepper. So while these guys are finishing up, I'm just going to swing back and look at my sauce. Stir your spoon around here. How to tell if your sauce is the great consistency. It coats the back of the spoon and you can dry your finger through it and mm. it stays. Now, remember what I said about my blackberries. The last thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna get them ready to kind of stir into my sauce at the very last second. Ooh, nice. See, we got that little char on the, boat with the broccoli rod. All right, so a little bit of oil, a little bit of crushed red pepper, and a little bit of salt, and a dismount. Just gonna taste my blackberry sauce, and then I think we are ready to, like, just come down the home stretch. I like that. You want it to be really intense, because we don't put tons of it on our protein. We are going to put it around the protein so that we can eat our bison steak with sauce or without sauce if we want. All right, so my little mushrooms, I'm just going to julienne them. So little smooth, small strips. Let's talk about our ribeye. So I'm just going to cut it right off the bone. Now, I'm going to slice it like this against the grain, right? So we feel like a really tender, beautiful, succulent, juicy steak, and we're not fighting to try to bite it. So I'm taking my broccoli rob, and I'm gathering it together by the stems, kind of like flowers. I'm gonna give it a nice little sprinkle of my mushrooms, okay? Picking all that up laying it on there, and then I'm kind of opening it up so I can see how beautifully my bison is cooked. Now I'm taking that bone, we lay it right across there. So look at those beautiful meat juices. And I also see some really nice meat juices here, right? Get them right in there, all that meaty, juicy goodness. Mm. Now it's time to get saucy. So get a nice spoonful, get all the goodies. Pour it, let it go off the tip of the spoon, and we bring it right around. So, what do you guys think? It's very pretty. Beautiful. 